Hey YC family and friends, we are um, we are thinking this week in our devotions about um, the crucifixion. There is so much in Luke chapter 23 that um, was way more than I could really address in the sermon this week. So I want to unpack a little bit about that. I ended on a point where um, we were looking at Joseph of Arimathea and how he learned the grace of giving at the foot of the cross. As he took Jesus' body off the cross, he had several things that was moving him in a place of being more courageous than ever. In John, it tells us in chapter 19 that Joseph of Arimathea was a disciple of Christ, but it says, John records, secretly because of his fear of the Jews. Um, Joseph of Arimathea was a was one of the Sanhedrin. It was a, like our Supreme Court. Instead of nine justices, it was 71. They were the, the top layer of law in all of Israel. Joseph of Arimathea was one of those. And he was a secret disciple. He'd been watching Jesus from afar and believed in him as the Messiah, but he was not yet an overt disciple, a public disciple, a courageous disciple. He was a secret disciple. I think sometimes, you know, we can be incredibly bold on Sunday when we're surrounded with people who also know and love God. But what if we were surrounded by people who questioned God, who doubted God, who was anti-God? That's where Joseph of Arimathea lived day in and day out. All the way up to the cross, the Jewish leaders are intimidated by Jesus. They're afraid of Jesus. They're uh, in opposition to Jesus. And he's right there with them. But he moves and shifts and becomes not a fearful disciple, not a secret disciple, but a courageous disciple when he learns to step up and and object to the crucifixion. That's what Luke tells us Joseph of Arimathea did in Luke 23. He objected to the, to the rule to crucify him. And then more publicly, he went to Pilate and asked for the body, and more publicly, he gave his own tomb, his own grave, to be a gift to Jesus. And Jesus, we see, embraced disciples in the journey of becoming who he's called us to be. He meets us where we are, but thank God he doesn't leave us where we are. He moves us to a place, and it's a place he may move in your life today, where he wants you to not be a secret disciple. He wants you to be a courageous disciple. Today, as we start our week, I wanna just pray with you that, that God would move in you and shine a light any, in, on any place in your life where, where you are intimidated you are um, embarrassed, you are reluctant to be public about your faith with Christ. Um, it's pretty bright out here. Huh. As we just agree with one another, I just want to invite you. Um, I, could be pr I could be crying over Joseph of Arimathea, but it's just really it's bright on my little blue eyes. <laughs> but I want to agree with you. None of us. None of us want to be recorded in history as a secret disciple. All of us want to be recorded as a courageous disciple, a courageous follower. Lord Jesus, enable us to be courageous with this message, this gospel, this truth you've imparted to us. To this we commit ourselves today. Expand our faith this week as we look at what you accomplished for us on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow.